what's going on guys welcome back to the channel and to another video I am super excited to finally be filming this video it's something that I've wanted to do for a really long time but today we are finally going to be Raptor lining the old f-150 now as it stands right now it obviously looks I think it looks great you know we've got you know the blue on black two-tone paint job we've got the fender flares we got a dog barking in the background but I, you know not that the truck doesn't look awesome right now as it is but we are going to be switching it up going for a much more aggressive and just mean total look on the truck so basically everything that you see that is black with the bumper the two-tone and you know the fender flare all the way going up to the front is going to become like a dark almost like a gunmetal gray metallic color and it's going to be Raptor liner. Now Raptor liner, if you guys don't know what it is, it is a um, truck bed liner and it's a very simple user-friendly uh, method of applying it with just like the, you know, mix, shake and spray. So that is what we're going to be doing today. There's a ton of prep work that's involved in this process, but I'm gonna be taking you guys along with it step by step as much as I can with like the sanding, the taping and all that good stuff. But we got a lot of work to do. I'm gonna try and get most of it done tonight and then do the actual painting process tomorrow morning. But like I said, I'm gonna to try to bring you guys along with me. So let's go ahead and start the prep work. All right guys, so the very first thing that we're gonna to do to get the truck prepped and ready for the Raptor liner is we have to sand down the surface. Now, if you guys remember from some of my previous videos, I had actually put Plasti Dip all along the base. That's what this black is on the bottom of my truck right there. So I have to remove the Plasti Dip as well as actually sand down the surface using 180 grit sandpaper to actually get it down to where um, it's like a good surface that the Raptor liner will stick to. Now, instead of going through the super tedious process of just like peeling off all the Plasti Dip, like little by little, I actually am gonna go ahead, as you can see, I've already started. I am just sanding down from the Plasti Dip right into the body of the truck. I tried to start peeling it off a little bit right here, but I decided that, that would be way too time consuming. I've got a handy uh, orbital sander right there. And so I'm just sanding from on top of the Plasti Dip right through. It's not gumming up the sandpaper, so don't worry about that. It's nice and dry because it's been on there for a long time. So I'm just sanding right through it, right onto the body of the truck. And we're gonna be repeating that process all the way around this side. We're gonna be doing the back bumper, the front bumper, and the other side of the truck. Like I said earlier, the prep work is key. It's the most important part to the process. Honestly, spraying is gonna be, you know, not gonna take that long in general, and it's gonna be very, very easy because it's a very user-friendly and easy thing to apply. So we wanna take our time and really make sure that we do a perfect job as far as the prep goes. But there's a lot of work that needs to be done tonight, so I'm, not gonna, I'm just gonna quit talking right now, and let's get to sanding. All right guys, just wanna show you real quickly how much easier this process is when you have an orbital sander. So I've only been going at um, this portion right here for give or take, I don't know, at the most 15, 20 minutes. And if you were just trying to peel off all the Plasti Dip little by little and then sand it, it would definitely take a lot more time and effort. Um, this little panel right here is actually basically completely ready as far as the sanding goes. Um, you can see um, you know, these lines in here, but I promise these are all smooth. Um, it's not like raised or anything like that. If you do get down to the bare metal right here, it's pretty easy. You just put a little bit of primer, a little bit of uh, adhesion promoter in there before you apply the Raptor liner over it. But we still got a lot of work to do. We still got this panel. Like I said, we're going to be doing the, um, the rear bumper and the front bumper as well. So we still do have a lot of time um, left tonight as far as the prep work goes. But I mean, I'm telling you guys, I cannot wait to see what this truck looks like when it's completely finished. We're gonna go back to sanding, so let's go. All right guys, so quick update. Um, the, uh, shut up, quit barking. Dude, dogs are barking crazy. So. The passenger side of the truck is all completely done as far as the sanding goes. The f all of the fender flares are off. You can see them all in a pile right here. I'm going to be sanding all of those individually off of the truck and then I'll be reattaching them. Sage, what are you doing? Come here. What are you doing? What 
What are you doing? You my you my protect dog. You my protecting dog. Good girl. Good girl. She's a good girl. She means well. But um, like I said, I'm going to be sending those individually, then reattaching them to the truck before I apply the Raptor liner. Um, I actually am also considering Raptor lining them and then reattaching them, but I haven't gotten that far yet. Here's what the driver's side looks like. As you can tell, all the plastic dip is still on there, but the fender flares are off. After I'm done sanding down this side, I'm going to take off the rear bumper and the front bumper. And I'm going to put them on the sawhorses over there and I'm going to sand them down um, because I will be raptor lining them uh, off of the truck and then putting them back on the truck once they're raptor lined. So um, the sanding process has taken out a huge chunk of the time as far as uh, prep time goes. It makes it go by so much faster, so much easier. Um, for those of you wondering, the Plasti Dip does not gunk up or make um, or like affect the sandpaper at all. Um, the Plasti Dip has been on here for a while and it's actually a pretty cool night so it's staying very dry. It's not getting like wet or moist and like I said like clumping or making it all gunky on the sandpaper. Um, if you guys have an orbital sander or just you know an electronic sander um, in general and don't have to just do it all by hand, I would highly suggest it. It takes out so much time with the prep work. And last but not least, I'm not wearing a, um, what do you call it, a mask or eyewear right now. As you can see, I'm in a barn. I've got um, ceiling fans above me. It's a very, very, very well ventilated area. But when I am applying the Raptor liner, I will be wearing a proper respirator, gloves, and um, eye protective wear so anybody watching this like you're new, like take care of yourself take care of your long life stuff relax I'm gonna be doing that when um, the real work actually begins but we've still got this entire side to sand front and back bumper and the um, the fender flares individually so still got quite a while ahead of us but I'm actually making really good time as far as sanding goes thanks to the orbital sander that I've got right now it's South Florida I don't know if you guys can see that but I can see my breath right now. This is crazy. Anyways, got a lot of work to do. Let's get back to it. Oh my goodness gracious, all right, the bulk of the sanding is finally done. It is currently, what time is it? 1, 1 a.m. So, like I said, the bulk of the sanding is done. I still am going to be taking off the back bumper and the front bumper to do some individual sanding, which I'll be doing on the saw horses over there. Now, as when I say like the bulk of the sanding is done, that just means that like, the massive parts that you guys see right here are done. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking a, um, a block sander and hand sanding because my goal is to go all the way up um, to, this little, to this little ridge right here with it. And I didn't feel comfortable going in such a very small area with the orbital sander because I didn't want to like sand any part that I wasn't actually going to be covering with the Raptor liner. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm gonna be taking a block sander like a little piece of sandpaper uh, by hand and just getting in like the really fine areas and I'll also probably be using the same technique when I'm hand sanding the, um, the fender flares as well. Um, it's just that you know the fender flares aren't that big and if I'm using the orbital sander I'm just afraid that I'm gonna like go too heavy or go too deep and I just don't really want to do that. So I'll be hand sanding the fine lines along the edges of the um, the bottom rocker panels of the truck, I'll be hand sanding the um, the fender flares over there. But first things first, we're actually going to go ahead and take the front and back bumper off right now. Get them over to the sawhorses so we can finish up using the orbital sander for the night, and um, and then we'll just kind of see where we go from there. <laughs> <laughs> 
As far as removing the back bumper, it's really, really simple. You've just got like maybe like one, two, three, four, five. You've got about six bolts to remove and then it'll just slide right off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now on the back right now. And then I'll hop up and do the front and then that'll be the bumper removal. Alright guys, we've got a little, not a problem, not an issue, but just a thought. I am debating whether or not to go ahead and scuff this bull bar up and spray it with ra the Raptor liner as well. The only thing with that is that I feel like if I do that, then I need to come over and do the same thing to these black, wow it's so dusty, to these black Nerf bars on the side. Um, I don't know. If, if I do this, I want to do it right. I don't want to skimp out on anything and I don't want to um, take, take the easy way out or anything like that. To be honest, I just really don't know if I want to do that or not. I'm trying to picture in my head what it would look like if I was to use, if I was to have the entire thing kind of gunmetal gray. I don't know. Comment down below what you guys think I should do. Um, if enough people say, yeah, we think it would look great, or no, we think you should leave it black, um, I'll probably make my decision based on that feedback, because, I don't know, it's, it, I'm just, I'm having a hard time picturing it in my head right now, so I don't want to, um, make kind of like a rash decision, especially since it's like 2 a.m. right now, and I've got like 600 milligrams of caffeine running through my veins, so... I don't know, comment down below what you guys think I should do. If a lot of you people are like, yeah, absolutely do it, um, maybe I'll make another video where I just Raptor line the Nerf bars and the bull bar. But um, we've already got the, the back bumper off. You can see it's actually on the sawhorses over here, right there. We're gonna be taking the front bumper off right now. Um, that is uh, not very hard, it's just, just a socket set, um, the same size bolts, there's like, one, two, three, four, five, looks like eight to 10 of them, I think, for the back, and I think it's the exact same for the front bumper. I don't know, honestly, I'm just kind of figuring this part out as I go, um, since I've never <laughs> taken the bumpers off before. But that actually kind of gives me an idea. I might be getting one of those barricade style bumpers um, for the front and the back. Again, comment down below what you guys think I should do. This is a project truck. Um, it's mechanically sound. It's a 2006, but it only has 77,000 miles. And those are original miles, guys. And the original motor, everything in it is all original. Um, there's a long story as to why it doesn't have that many miles on it. But... You know, like I said, this this uh, truck is mechanically sound, and so I'm just going to make this my project truck um, for a very long time to come. I'm going to do a million different things to it, and I just, I can't wait. Um, every single time I get to do something, it's awesome. So I'm glad I'm able to bring you guys along for the journey. Um, I got to get this front bumper off, because like I said, it's already 2 a.m. I'm kind of slap happy right now and rambling, but we got to get to work. All right guys, this will probably be the last update for the night. As you can see, we've got the front bumper off. I've already shown you that we've got the back bumper off. They both are sitting here on the saw horses. Um, they've got Plasti Dip on them, just like the bottom of the truck did. So I will be sanding those down. Um, I never did make up my mind as far as the bull bar and Nerf bars go. So I think I'm just gonna leave that up to you guys in the comments. Um, we'll probably just like, tally votes and whatever you guys decide is probably what I'll wind up doing. Um, this will be the last, this will probably be the last update video that I make for the night um, from as far as the rest of the night goes. Man, I'm just, I'm so tired. I'm slurring my words, all that good stuff. Um, for tonight, I'm going to finish up uh, sanding down the both bumpers and then on the other side of the truck over there, I've got the... Um, the uh, fender flares which I will be sanding as well and then after that that's going to be all the work that I'm going to do for tonight and I'm going to go to bed um, and then that way when we wake up tomorrow morning all of the sanding will be done and the only thing left to do will basically be to you know wipe it down with some wax and degreaser do the um, the taping portion and then we can start spraying so I've got a little bit more work left to do tonight and then I get to go to bed
uh, as you guys might have just seen, is 3.45 in the morning. For some reason, there's a rooster crowing. Um, yep. His internal clock is definitely very off. But it is 3.45 in the morning. Um, I only just now finished sanding the bumpers. I wish that I'm about to... I just finished sanding the bumpers. I don't know why, but they were extremely hard to sand. Um, the Plasti Dip did not want to come off. I even switched to 100 grit sandpaper to try and speed the process up. And that helped a little bit, but not nearly as much as I had anticipated. Dude, somebody needs to fix that rooster, man. He's being a cock. Sorry, I'm freaking exhausted and I think my jokes are funny. Um, I'm not going to get to the fender flares tonight. I'm going to go to bed um, and we'll uh, resume this in the morning. Alright guys, so it's the next morning. Um, it is about... 10, 10 30 right now. We were up till f about 4 a.m. last night. Um, pretty tired, but we've got our rock star and our pop tart. And we're just gonna go right back at it, guys. What we have left to do, um, we still have to sand down the fender flares and then we have to take um, the block sander and do like that fine edge sanding along the edge of where the fine line of the Raptor liner is going to be. Um, I'm not going to kill myself too much as far as like the sanding goes because I also do have that um, adhesion promoter stuff that I'm going to be spraying in those really hard to sand areas. So that'll uh, be super helpful. But we're just going to knock out this breakfast real quick and then we're going to go right back to work. guys so the fender flares are completely sanded and they are ready to go back on the truck really the only thing left to do now is to do the fine edge sanding all along where I want the line to be as far as how high I want the Raptor liner to go and then after that guys it's just a little bit of washing with the uh, wax and degreaser and um, yeah we're gonna be painting before you guys know it so keep watching I'm gonna keep working and and we'll get there oh my gosh finally all of the sanding work is done. Now, what's next on the agenda is we are going to be wiping the entire um, sanded area down with wax and grease uh, remover. And then I'm going to be going over pretty much the entire thing, um, not just the hard to reach areas, but the entire thing with an um, adhesion promoter and a self-etching primer combo thing all in one. Um, and then after that, um, I guess we'll just have to wipe it down one more time and then we can start raptor lining. All right, so the only thing really left to do now is to go ahead and tape off the lines. Um, we've already gone over this entire portion as well as the front and rear bumpers with this automotive primer, adhesion promoter, it's a clear primer, that's why um, it's not contrasting color right there, but we're going to go ahead and do the, um, do the taping off process now. Okay guys, so we're finally at the part where we can start spraying the Raptor liner. We've got the front and the back um, bumpers over there, all clean and on the sawhorses, ready for paint. So this is what the Raptor kit looks like. Um, I only got a 4 liter kit. But you can see it's got a box in here. You get four of these individual liters of Raptor liner. If you get the tintable version like I did, it'll send you um, a little pre-made tint uh, in your kit. This is the hardener that comes with it. Directions, spray gun. So this obviously will just spray, uh, will just screw into right here. This is your actual sprayable tip. I'll assemble it in a second. I just want to show you guys generally what everything looks like before um, you're actually screwed in, plugged in, and ready to go. So once you get your gun, this long portion is what's going to actually go inside the liter bottles of 
um, of the Raptor liner. It screws in right in here, just like so. And keep in mind also that this top actually screws right onto the top of these bottles of Raptor liner. So we get that all tight. The smaller portion right here is what is the, um, the spray tip. So that will just screw into the front of the gun. And this is what the gun will look like in your finished product. So as far as the actual mixing application portion goes, of course the dog is freaking out right now. But anyways, as far as the actual application goes, it's very simple. If you have a painter's cup, that's great. You can totally mix it um, in with that, or you can simply unscrew the bottle. Screw, unscrew. So this is what that stuff looks like before it's tinted. It's just like that white goop. But there is actually a little line, a little ridge on the inside, which is just this line right here. And that's how much that you're going to fill the hardener up to if you don't have one of those um, uh, like painters, mixers cups. And then the rest will simply be the color. Two minutes of constant shaking and then you're ready to spray. Got my respirator on. We're going to be trying to start off shooting at 50 PSI. Um, where you got a little piece of wood over there as our test panel. I'll show you guys that. But yeah, been shaking for a while now, so now we're ready to just screw on the uh, gun, plug in, and get spraying.
How you doing, girl? All right, guys, so all of the spraying is finally done. And man, does this look awesome. It actually dried a little bit lighter um, than I originally thought it was going to, but it still is going to look awesome. It already does look awesome. I'm super happy with it. Um, so we have sprayed the sides of the truck we have also sprayed the fender flares, which are drying over here. Oh man, these things look so badass. These things look awesome. The other ones are drying over there. And then we've got the front bumper over there and we've got the rear bumper drying right here. And I'll just kind of give you guys a sneak peek, man. Yeah, we have a dent, but whatever. Um, but man, this thing looks absolutely awesome, guys. So. All of the spraying is done, like I've already said. So we are going to let everything dry overnight. We've gotten a couple coats on everything. So I'm very comfortable as far as knowing that I've got plenty of coverage on it and that's gonna last and it's not going to orange peel, it's not gonna chip or anything like that. Um, but right now I'm gonna go over some of the tools that I've actually used to do all of the work that I've done right now, as well as um, kind of like what I learned along the way. 
Okay, so one of the most common questions I see on like Raptor liner videos is what size air compressor did you use? What PSI did you spray at? So the air compressor that I used is this pancake right here. It is a six gallon air compressor. Um, you can go up to 150 PSI. This is the air compressor that I used. It worked like a champ, guys. It never, ever like lost pressure, and I was able to spray at 70 PSI is what I sprayed at for the entirety of everything, not just the truck, but also the fender flares and the bumpers. So six gallon pancake air compressor at 70 PSI is how I got the texture um, that I got. As far as sanding goes, this is something guys that you cannot skimp on because a project like this prep is everything. So the sander that I use is this DeWalt brand orbital sander. Um, this thing was an absolute lifesaver guys. If I had tried to do this project using like a block sander by hand or something like that guys, I honestly probably would have worked all through the night all day today and I still wouldn't even be done with sanding guys. I can't stress enough that it is like is vital to have an electric, I prefer orbital sander. I think I mentioned this already but I used the um, degrease and wax, uh, grease and wax remover, the Goo Gone and the um, the uh, automotive primer, the adhesion promoter, it's a clear primer. So I used all these to help in my prep work as well. Um, I just, I really, really want to emphasize to you guys, like, Raptor Liner is a great product and it's extremely forgiving. If you're somebody like me and you have zero, I'm talking zero experience, like working on or painting um, vehicles or just kind of painting in general, it's super forgiving, guys. It goes on really easy. It's almost impossible to get like a run or something like that because of like the thick texture. Great product. I, I love it so far. I can't wait to show you guys what the finished result looks like when I put everything back on the truck tomorrow. Um, but yeah, that's kind of everything that I used. If you guys have any more questions, obviously just leave in the comments below. I'm going to go right now because I've got some stuff that I need to do tonight. I'm going to reassemble the entire truck tomorrow. I'm going to put the bumpers on. I'm going to put the fender flares on. And then we're going to do a reveal, which should be about now.